In this video, I'm going to walk you through the code for a future investment value calculator. Uh, what I did was I had the user input the initial amount, the yearly interest rate, and the number of years to be compounded. This thing is going to compound it monthly. Alright, let's take a look. First, I had to import java.util.star. I could have also put scanner here, but star does more. It would actually run just a tad faster if I had scanner, but we're not worried about that. It's very negligible. Alright, here's the main method, which I just get it ready to call other methods in this line. And here it calls joey.getData. So we're going to go down to the getData method. I call in my scanner. And I tell the user to input a initial investment amount. And I just call that initial amount. And that's the next double that they input. After that, I tell the user to input the interest rate. Or the yearly interest rate. And they do that. That's the next double. And then I have them input the number of years that they want to calculate this for. And I call that years. Next, I call my calculate value method. I and to that I pass my initial amount, the interest rate, and the number of years. In the calculate value method, these have similar names. I just change them all a little bit so that you can see that you are allowed to change the data or the names of these values. So it stays in the same order. Here it says double initial. It's going to call this value initial, whatever value is passed there, and it says double here because it has to be a double. I can't pass in an integer or anything like that in here. It has to be a double. Put a comma so it knows it's the next thing. Then I tell it to pass in a double, and I will call it interest, and another double, which I will call year, even though it's probably going to be more than one. I then calculate the future amount. Uh, the I multiply initial amount by 1 plus interest to the 12 times year. Which, uh, the math.pow is a exponential function. It puts this to this power. And at the end of that, it multiplies it by the initial amount. Then I call my output data fun or my output data method. I'm going to give to that the double future amount in the double year. Here I'm taking in the double answer, which corresponds to future amount, and the double years, which correspond to the number year or to the year up here. And here is just the print. I have the print formatted to make it reasonable, otherwise there would be uh, way too many decimal places, and it just wouldn't look very neat. Uh, one thing that you should note is up here on in the interest rate, I divide it by 1200. I don't want to go through the math on that, but if you're compounding monthly and you're getting the interest rate for the whole year, this formula and this formula are what you need to use. Uh, I mean, you could change where you did certain things, but this is one of the ways that works. Anyways, uh, let's run the program and see if it works. Enter initial investment amount, let's say $1,000. We'll, we'll have 10% interest one year. That If I put in one year, this should give me a little bit over 1100 And got $1,104.71. Just to make this look a little bit neater. Uh, so here, we'll get the build successful at the next line. We will put a dollar sign by our amount. Up here, we have a dollar sign by the amount. Alright, this right here should make it look a little bit neater. Our initial investment, let's go $1,500 this time. Yearly interest rate is at 8%. And the number of years is 2. 
initial investment value after 2.00 years is $1,759.33. That looks reasonable. All right, I uh, just want to show you this code one more time so you can see it all. Pause the video if you need to to write this. All right, thanks for watching.